And welcome back, folks. We are here for part two of Let's Play Star Fox. Now, we're roughly about halfway through on the easy path. Last time, I went from Corneria all the way to Sector X. Now, we're going to do, I believe it's Titan is this level. And then we'll go all the way here to Venom on the easy path. So, without further ado, here we go. What are you doing? It's too dangerous there. <laughs> there he is again. He's so negative. Can't leave Slippy hanging. It's his bro. Titania. All right. So now in this level, you don't use the R wing as we've been using. You actually use the Landmaster, which I don't like. Uh, I think the R wing is the best level. I mean, best ship in the game. It's kind of cool because you get variety, and I like it better than the submarine you do in the hard mode. But yeah, this is the Landmaster, so you can roll. It's just not as cool, and. Um, you have the shootings, but you can't upgrade your shootings. You're always stuck on this, like, disc thing, which is kind of weird. Um, you could still use bombs and all that. Uh, I just don't know. I find it sluggish. You could also hover, which I will show you. Ah, see, I got hit by that thing. You could also hover by holding both buttons together. And you could boost up and you could slow down. Why don't you come down here, Falco? Uh, look at all those skulls we see. So see, I just I love that banter they have. Like, oh, won't you come down? It's like, fuck you, fucks. So um, this is kind of what this is all about. Eventually, you have these air enemies come in. It's just. I don't even know what what would be the point, really, of using the Landmaster. I guess to... Well, no, I guess it makes sense. They're trying to find Slippy, I guess. And they're kind of like, well, we gotta search the grounds intently. But don't you think there'd be, like, some sort of tracking device or something? But who knows? Ah! Okay, I need to get some some health here. Oh yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, you have to use the boost to get through, or else these things will they're just poison. Hey, I'm fine. I'm on your side. So you see. Um. Okay. Sometimes the advice they give you, by the way, is not appropriate. You have to really be keyed in on what you're doing. He's like trying to hint at something. So yeah, the hovering is definitely your friend here, especially when you see these damn mines, because the mines will totally get you. So you just kind of do this. Checkpoints, of course, are always a pleasure. Um, oh, crap. I meant to do that. I meant to do that too. Alright, got through that nonsense. Yay, see this guy's always got our back. Oh crap. Well, he had our back. Oh, there he is. Yeah, no, he's got our back. You can try to get Falco. You can help him out. I guess you're good for something. <laughs> so mean. I'm like the leader, Falco. I can fire you easily. So uh, I, I'm not really talking because I have to concentrate it so damn much. I really hate the um, the uh, Falco levels. I mean, not the Falco levels. The Landmaster levels. They're just. It's not really my thing. It's just. It's probably the only part of the game I dislike. Is aside from the Aqua level is these levels because it's just what glitch i just saw um there it is again. it's just i don't know it's not as fast it's slow it's boring i just it's not really my thing but i, I like the attempt at variety i mean it's definitely an idea for sure oh shit it's slippy we found him he 
Looks like I got him. What's the point? So now, see, there he is. Slip. Of course, dude. Of course, bro. Brah. So here, um, you can shoot those things. Now you have to fight this boss, who's kind of weird. So he's like, Let me get a piece of that <laughs> Okay, bro. It's not like it's a. It sounds like it's a gangbang. Yeah, now if you take out the arm that Slippy's in, which I would recommend you guys do, he will analyze the shield for you, see? So now you can see what, how much left, I mean how much uh, health you have left. See? So it's really useful to kind of like release Slippy the first chance you get. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot this boss. So you just aim for his heart. And then, of course, those shits will come back. So really, your best bet here is all those, um, all those, uh, you know, bombs you've been storing up. Just kind of like shoot them, and then go for the chest, and you got him. Somewhat, uh, not an easy boss, but if you stock up on bombs, he's pretty easy. I mean, as you saw, I only used a few of them, but you know. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby, as they say. And mission accomplished. Because I did such a great job. You almost were, Slippy. So now I have my whole crew back. Let's see how everyone's health is. Well, Falco, he's been with me since the beginning, so his health is like pure crap. But everyone else seems well. Yeah, Falco's kind of a little under half, and Slippy and Peppy are excellent. They have full health. So, alright, good. Looks like, uh, hopefully I can keep my whole crew for Venom. Because even on the easy path, Venom is still kind of a... It's not a hard level, it's definitely a level, uh, worth keeping yourself on your toes. So we shall see. Destroy the satellite, we can go straight for Venom. Be careful, Fox. I'm on it. <laughs> Again, so like, so positive. Gotta respect that. Alright, let's see here. Okay, guys, destroy all barriers. Alright, so I really despise this level. It's just like a mess. Basically, you have to first destroy these things. And then once you destroy those things, luckily you're back in the R-Wing, so if you have all your stuff charged up, you can just shoot these things. And then eventually... <sighs> yeah, see, you have to kind of like hit it from far away. And if you miss one, you will eventually get a chance to shoot it again, but you have to wait, as you can see. So it is kind of a pain. Let's see. Yay! So now we're not spinning. Now, here, Star Wolf would come if you haven't killed them. But since we killed them, we're fine. So what is my technique? Uh, well, first you have to go around here and you have to shoot these, um, these dudes. All these enemies come out and they're just like... They try to rape your crew. So... You just kind of like save your crew at this point. I feel like this is the game's way of saying you better do it or else you're not going to have them for the next level. So you just run around, you kind of make sure it's all good. You slow down to attack these. Okay, now when Peppy says that, you make a U-turn as such. And now once the core comes out as it is, fire a bomb gonna take care of a lot of those things then you go further back here uh, you make a u-turn and then once you make a u-turn 
you fire a another bomb. And then you pretty much keep doing that. And eventually you will destroy the satellite's core. As is being asked. I won't let you get away from me. Make a U-turn, go back. Wash, rinse, repeat. And it really does help. I mean, you could shoot too if you'd like. To kind of like try to see if you can get some of them. Oh, no! Now when you do that, it starts going apeshit. And when it starts going apeshit, you have to be careful. Because that's when things get dirty. There's one down. You see, these things are deadly. Ah, crap. Okay, so when you start seeing you're kind of low on health, you can get some health. And then you turn around. Now, at this point, you can help your crew. I ignore them because if you could just get this shit done, the level will be over, which is a good thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit crap now. Oh, no. <laughs> They're like, dude, come on. I won't let you get away from me. Yeah, I did it. See, now it's over. So that's pretty much how you do it. There's better ways, of course, you could do it, but usually I just fire as many bombs as I have. <laughs> it looks like a Christmas tree. Like a futuristic, not Christmas tree. It looks like they celebrate Christmas. They're like, let's let's make the satellite more livelier. Alrighty, so you destroy that, and then you kind of just move on to the last level, which is Venom, which we're going to see right now. Venom, here we come. See, here we go. We're going to do it, guys. We're going to beat the second half. It's going to be great. So here we go. Venom on the easy path. So this is a very different st uh, part than when you go to the uh, the hard mode. We're not done yet. So yeah. Time to show the <laughs> Falco's so racist. Why would he say stuff like that? Like Andros has a name. I guess he's bad. So you see, you could follow uh, Falco, and it kind of makes this a lot easier. You see? So if he lives, you can follow him, and it kind of shows you what you're supposed to do. Ah, this game is just so damn great. I love this game. So, um, yeah, if you have all your teammates... So you take the left if you'd like. Yeah, with Falco. But uh, yeah, basically, the more you um, you keep your enemies, I mean your friends alive, just the easier this level becomes and all that. It's almost like the satellite was like your test to see can you keep them alive. And if you do, then you get to keep them, and it makes things a lot simpler and stuff. So. Definitely, I would recommend doing that. Trying your best in the previous level. It just helps you. And I keep... I don't mean to follow Falco, but I keep doing it. Jeez! Keep moving around. Alright. Another great way to earn... To kill enemies and whatnot, earn some uh, scores if you're a a big score nut. I'm not really much of a score nut. I just like having fun, but for some people that is having fun. So I do encourage you guys to take advantage of all these enemies that are coming out. It's probably the oh kick you. So look, they shoot that. If you didn't have your team, that would never happen. What? It's Andros! He's talking to me! Who would have thought? Okay, now this is hilarious. I find this boss to be so funny. Because look at him! Watch, you'll see him. So you go into this temple, which is kind of funny, it's this big. And then look at this guy, he's just running away! He's like, Mama didn't raise no fool! Run! 
<laughs> Literally, that's what he's doing. So you can start shooting him now. You don't even have to wait. And basically just shoot all his body parts. The chest is probably the easiest because it's the biggest one. The ass is also easy. Probably the hardest would be like the smaller parts, like the shoulder or something like that. Ah, no. God, I got my ass handed to me. So you can pull a, a Han Solo here and kind of go through the walls sideways. Much like he did in the Empire Strikes Back. Those of you who are not initiated into the Star Wars-ness. So yeah, those um those shoulders just suck. Alright, one more shoulder. Awesome. The head is not that bad, I mean. It's kind of t oh god, that's terrible. I lost a wing! Oh my god, that's terrible! I lost a wing! Okay, so I'm playing horribly right now, but again, remember guys, this is let's try to play. It's not let's play, but I'm doing terrible right now. I've lost my- oh sweet, a wing repair. So you can get that, it repairs your wing, but unfortunately, if you've lost your awesome, um, what is it called? Upgrades, you lose them. And as you can see, the single shooter sucks. It takes so long to kill this guy. But I've done it. So I only have one laser now. It really blows. But what are you going to do? Oh look, first person view. I'll go it alone from here. <laughs> Slippy, it's okay. Alright, now I think there's some stuff they give you here before you fight Andros. So now this is the uh, the easy mode final battle. Yeah, there's some stuff here, thank god. Okay, now I have already two rings, so my health is filled. That's awesome. I have my wings. I think they give you one, like, yeah, one laser thing, so unfortunately I don't get to have my super duper laser, but at least I get dual laser, so it makes things a bit easier, I guess. Okay. So you get that. Oh yes, they do give you two. Awesome. Cool, so I'm at super lasers. Awesome. Okay, so this is Andros on the easy mode. Um, basically the first thing you have to do is shoot his arms. So just go ahead and do that. It might give you this trippy effect. Don't worry. You can also shoot his eyes. And if you shoot that, he'll start rubbing them. He'll be like, oh god, my eye. And then it lets you kind of aim at the hand here. Which is good to do. It's kind of the strategy I do. See, and then you could just... It just blew up your arm, sir. He's like, oh, God. It. So again, what's he saying? He's like, fucking Star Fox. Kids. Now, you see, he could have grabbed you right there, and then that would suck. Oh, wait, no. If you shoot a, a bomb, see, he blows up. It's really funny. So that's one way to deal with that guy. Okay, now look. You think it's the real Andrus, but it's not! It's a robot! Oh my god, it's a robot. And he takes away a shit ton of health if you're not careful. Oh my god, I think I might die. Wow, folks, I may die. Oh my god, this is so epic. I might die. I'm dead. So sorry, folks. I was trying not to die. <laughs> you already blew up. Wow, I died. That is so bad. It's just because I got hit the first time. I'm so sorry about that, guys. But let's go ahead and replay this. Um, again, this is Let's Try to Play. I am not 
I it's one of my favorite games. Um, so you'd think that would make me an expert, but unfortunately, I'm not so good at this game that I could do with my eyes closed. But um, yeah, so you can see when he does that lunging attack, really he just kind of homes in on you, so I was being stupid and I wasn't moving out of the way. Watch. We'll do it again. Don't worry. We got this. We got this, guys. We got this. Plus, they give me these super duper lasers, so we got this. Look, we'll do it in first person. No, okay. So let's start by first shooting this guy's eyes, so then he'll just kind of like leave us alone from the get-go. Yay. Ah, crap. Okay. I'm so, like, immersed in this right now. I just don't want to die again. See, you know, he's a. I am a robot. So watch when he tries to target you. Ah, oh, damn! There I go again. Did he hit? There we go. Awesome sauce. All right, so we beat it on the easy mode. So now we get this awesome cutscene of Fox escaping. And we have successfully beaten Star Fox 64 on the N64 on the easy mode. So this is not the end of the Let's Play, because like I said, I'm going to show you now the medium path. But there we go. He is beaten. And now, wow, he got to space fast. This is nice as mission accomplished, because really it's not, if you think of it. Okay, I'll admit it. You did good, Fox. <laughs> He's like, even I could admit to that. Oh, goodness, look at all that. Nine R wings still. And my team is, is pretty good, as you can see. So, um, what's gonna happen now is we're gonna get the credits. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, we beat the game, right? Okay, Shigeru Miyamoto, that guy's awesome. Um, we didn't beat the game, because like I said in the previous video, um, we're going to play through each path of the game. So this is the easy path, which I showed you guys how to do. Um, and there is kind of an alternate ending type of thing. Not really. Uh, basically, the game plays, and uh, the credits play out, as you're seeing right now. And... Um, Eventually at the end you you see the ending and then when there's a part where Fox and his crew are running There's like a sunset and they're running through the sunset and when that's happening in the background you see the image of uh, The bad guy Andros. He's like smiling and he's like -ha 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 -ha. And uh, you're like oh shit. We didn't beat it cuz he's look at him. He's right there. He's he's laughing at us and so that's kind of what happens um, with that part. Uh, so, like I said, you can get the real ending by beating the game on easy. And uh, when you do, it is quite cool. I am sorry, beating the game on hard, not easy. This is easy. And this is not really the real ending. Because we fought the Andros robot. So this is a fictitious ending where Fox thinks he won and he gets paid for winning, but in actuality, he did not win. Which was clever, because I remember as a kid, I would play this and I would think, excuse me, I yawned. I remember as a kid, I would play this and I would think that he's a robot? Like, I didn't get it. I thought like, okay, I beat it. And I didn't know about the alternate paths, even though there's all those other missions. And then, you know, like back in the day, this was before at least for me, the internet was huge. So I would go to like a Walmart or a Toys R Us or something and read like uh, magazines that would tell you what to do. Now <laughs> this is funny. They're like, welcome back, Star Fox. <laughs> Corneria. Small um, award room. This is very Star Wars-like, but not as grand. 
Those guys are really still, by the way. Look at them. Starbuck, we are in your debt. He's I so still. Have you as part of the oh no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah, we don't want to join the army. Oh, I didn't press it, by the way. What the hell is wrong with Rob there? It's time for us to go now. They're like, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. And then after that, I will stop the video, because this is not the real ending, and we shouldn't see the fake ending. But, um, you see in the background, you're going to see Andros evilishly smiling. I think you do. I mean, if I'm incorrect. Oh, no, I think it's later on. You have to see the whole ending. Yeah, it's been a while, folks, since I've done the uh, easy mode. I usually just go straight through on the hard mode, because... I, I like seeing the canonical ending, so I apologize if I keep misleading you, but um, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Now, I wonder, why are they running? Like, did they steal bread or something at the bakery in Corneria? I mean, why are they running? Oh, you know why they're running, probably? Because they, they got paid, and the people don't realize that Andros is actually still alive because it was a robot. So they're running for their lives, and the the great fox, as you can see, is ready to pick them up. Um, you know, because what they did was wrong. They shouldn't have done that. That was messed up. The Super Mario Club, special thanks, and to Ear Force, because without the power of listening through your ear, the force and magnitude of the awesomeness of this game's soundtrack. Could not happen. So, Ear Force. Much blessings. Okay, so I think here is where you actually see the dude. Yeah, you have to see the whole credits. So, this is really a full-on Let's Play the Easy Mode. So that's funny. 1997 Nintendo. Ah, such an old game. But so great. I was but a youngin' when I played this. Well, thank you everyone for watching and uh, for tuning in. It's not over yet, though. There is more. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, oh, ah, you didn't really beat it. Uh, there is more to go. Uh, in my next video, I will be playing the game on the medium path, and then we'll play the game on the uh, hard path. So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, please tune in next week for more action. Oh, maybe not next week. Just tune into the next video. Yeah, it makes more sense. All right, folks, thank you very much. This is Chris. Goodbye.